The Slizian Civil War is over, and the Granville army awaits Sigurd. Saxon Castle has barely fallen, yet before Sigurd can so much as rest, the hordes of Granville stand before him at the captured Lube 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 Castle. Lube Castle. <laughs> <laughs> he also says Bachelor was called like Lube Castle <laughs> and he captured it. And it's like Lube Captured. That. Like, yes! Just what I needed. Thanks. Lube Captured. Because after what you do to that boss, you It's like it's, it's obtained cancer all over again. Yep. The Granville commander, Duke Lambolt, is a longtime enemy of Sigurd's father. For Sigurd, to challenge Langbolt is an opportunity to avenge his father, Byron. Framed by Langbolt for his crimes. He killed my father, prepare to die. Beyond Lubeck, in the desert town of Fenora, Lord Arvis's elite warriors stand guard. Under the commander or under the command of the war mage Faha. Veldhomer Castle on Granville's border with the Yeet Desert. Yeet! <laughs> Yeet! Yeet! <laughs> it's defended by Lord Arvis's trusted aide, General Ida. Can't wait to fight her. <laughs> and in Valhalla, the royal capital of Granville, Lord Arvis serves to aid the bedridden King Asmur, while Chancellor Raptor of Frege maintains peace and order in the city. A long road to Valhalla awaits Sigurd. A clash with Granville on routes is inevitable. Sigurd refuses to endanger the people of Celeste any further in this conflict. He is determined to fight to the end. The year is Grand 760, I mean 776, early spring. The fields of Celeste peacefully rest beneath a deep blanket of snow. Oh, cool. Yeet! <laughs> Chapter 5, Threshold of Fate. It's time to go. Ooh, who's that? After chapter 3, and after ch prologue, this is my favorite chapter in Gen 1. <laughs> you know, if there were more chapters, this would be more impressive. <laughs> nug, nug. God damn it. Nug, nug, nug. Sigurd! Mm. No. Sigurd. <laughs> I mustn't die yet. No, not until the exalted blade is in your hands. I love how he moves slower because he's like wounded and shit. Yeah, it's a nice touch. My lord, we've sighted the fugitive Duke Byron. We caught him resting, but he slipped away. It seems as if he planned to escape to Celeste. What? You simpleton! Get out there and hunt him down! Immediately! My ambush may have put an end to Chalfish Paladin Brigade, the Groon and Ritter, but the survival of Byron alone leaves that utterly meaningless! Y y yes sir, but you see, my lord, Byron is still gravely wounded. Surely he has very little time left. I've never heard such naive drivel! Byron may not be long for the sword, but he's determined or world, I mean, but he's determined to get that sword tearfing to his son with the very last of his strength. Do you not understand the threat that Sigurd would pose to us should he get his hands on that damnable sword? Move out and kill Byron immediately. Y yes, sir. Consider it done. I love the way that Project Naga wrote um, Langballs. That's amazing. That yeah. Really good. For that matter, we're in the blazes as Danon with those reinforcements. For the gods' good sake, he's leading the entire Ground Ritter Brigade. How could it take him so long to put down that Isaacian resistance? First Lex and now Danon? Why must both of my sons be so worthless? Come now, Lord Langbald, sir. Don't worry about a thing. After all, you still got the Bagan Ritter on eye on your side. I suppose you're right, Andre. Be sure that your men are ready to join in the fray at a moment's notice. Heh, <laughs> it would be my pleasure, sir. Hey, we get to fight the cheaters. Yee! The Brave Bow Brigade. Wait, do they still have Brave Bow I think they do. Yeah, they still do. It's pretty annoying, actually. Damn that insolent worm! To think he isn't even the slightest bit remorseful for slaying his own father. Duke Ring, may you be at peace. Yeah, Andre's kind of a dick. Everyone here is a dick. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where's the snow? They said the Saxon lies, lies like blanketed in snow. Yeah, it was Celeste. I guess this is like the border of Celeste, so there's not this, much this, snow left. I, don't know. I mean, the Saxon castle was where the last bus was at. Now yeah. there's not snow anymore. Lazy design. Sire, we've sighted a lone knight to our east who appears to be headed our way. Hmm, is he an enemy? No, sir, he's green. I don't <laughs> I don't believe so. I knew you would say something like that. <laughs> the, lube book occupation, the lube occupation seems to be pursuing him, so they're most likely not with them. I see, let's give them a hand. We'll be clashing with Langbot's army sooner or later. Why don't why not make the first move? Move out! Our target is their front lines. Today's victory hinges on the first strike. It's more true than ever. 
I like how the game tries to tell you to, like, get the fuck out there. But at the same yeah. time, they don't try to make it obvious that Sigurd knows. He's like, yeah, we gotta... It's always important to get the first strike in battle. Get the fuck out of there. Get to the sky right, right well, now. You do actually have to be kind of fast to get to him in time. You so do. So yeah, welcome to chapter five. This is the final chapter. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Yeet>. <laughs> luckily, even though this chapter is probably the biggest, like, size-wise, most of it we will not traverse. Uh, there's like... Unfortunately, <laughs> one part that we do traverse takes forever, yeah. because everyone takes multiple oh, here. Oh boy, the desert. You can, there are like ways to move through the desert that doesn't completely kill you. You can move like here, and then you can move yeah, like... but from there there's no choice. No, you have to go through here, which kind of sucks. But you don't need to send your entire army down here. Uh, no, that's just true. Sigurd and someone to take on the final boss. Um, but yeah. Here's Langbart, he's the father of Lex. And he has the Halswath, uh, Holy Weapon. Pretty terrifying weapon. Luckily, can't attack more than once. So, as long as you have a character that can, like, survive its initial impact, you should be fine. But he is really hard to take down, though. He has 41 defense. So, use some magic user. Yeah. And 20 res. And then he has uh, a vice as well. Yeah. And a castle. We also have to fight Andre. He's here now. He's got four leadership stars. Um, I think his stats are higher, too. And he's coming with the entire Brave, Brave Bow Brigade. There's Ballistas here. There's also this little mini boss Slater. But he doesn't pose any big threats. Uh, we have to rescue this guy. This is Sigurd's dad, Lord Byron. It's a broken sword. Hmm. Hmm. I like that. It shows that it makes him weaker, but it's still like. I, I, think, I just think it's super cool that he has a broken sword. It is a really cool way to. It makes him very fragile because he can't dodge for sure. Yeah, it's, it's a good way to utilize already in game mechanics too. Because if he had the tear thing, he'd be impossible to hit. <laughs> <laughs> that too, and because he is, um, because it's broken, it also shows that he's like spent a lot of time fighting other enemies. Yeah, that's why he's tired. Exactly, and uh, yeah, there's some theories as to who let him out, but we'll talk about those later. Um, so yeah, he's a master knight. Man, I wish Sigurd could be a master knight. That'd be fucking amazing. So we have to go through these guys. Uh, the enemies are pretty heavily equipped in this chapter, like a lot of bray weapons and shit. Uh, there's a lot of villagers very early on that you want to get your hands on. Yeah, we have a couple people that need him, right? Oh yeah, we do. There's also this little group that will attack you from behind. But first, guys... I hope you got lube. hope you got lube, because <laughs> we need to do a meme review. Right. Right. So, uh, yeah, let's bring up the memes. Got some good ones today. Fresh memes, in fact. Again? Good ones? Oh yeah. Wow. Some good memes. So, we have this one, which... I think you'll get this one. <laughs> <laughs> current, current mood. Uh, I like how they use the hair, but not the face. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> then we have this one. <laughs> the fuck? I don't know, man. But my Madeir is too tanky. Way more tanky than he has any right to be. <laughs> I think it's from some comic, but I don't recognize which one. Uh, then we have this one. Nice, simple, but effective. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely doesn't get paid enough. He gets paid like 500. <laughs> uh, and then we have this one. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. This is my favorite so far this time. Oh, but this one is actually my favorite. It's a GIF. Here we go. It's loading. It is loading. It's loading. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that Jojo? Yeah. <laughs> charge, 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 charge. <laughs> 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 I just want to compare our favorite units on a few. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beowulf, Beowulf. Why are you Beowulf? <laughs> I have to delete this one, though, because I think it takes up bandwidth on the screen, so I'm just going to do <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. <clears throat> now it's time to arena. So we got to go over our units now. And uh, so, uh, in the armory, I don't think they sell anything new. No. Um, so, s let's start with Sigurd. He probably doesn't need the Paragon Ring for the arena, because he's level 28. So it's probably better off to hold off buying the Paragon Ring towards the end of the chapter, so we can have it on someone else for the duration of this chapter, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I, I try to hold judgment on this until you've seen him cap out in the arena, because it would kind of suck not to waste field enemies on secret. He might have to fight some people anyway, especially when he's in the desert. Uh, Maybe it doesn't matter very much, but like when he's level 29, he's not going to gain jack from the field. 
So I hope he caps from the arena alone. Well, we could use him to kill Longbolt, maybe, or maybe Raptor. Well, um, that would be kind of annoying, because you'd have to go back to repair the tier thing in order to, like, do any damage to Longbolt, unless you get him, like, uh, their armor slayer or something. <laughs> mm. Because be uh, I was also thinking, he has 25,000 gold, why don't we give Sigurd the Thief Sword? Uh, that's actually not the worst idea that I've ever seen your other, which is not a high bar, but still, that might actually be a good idea, because Sigurd is going to have to buy uh, the Paragon Ring, the Leg Ring. He has the Leg Ring already, he has it already. Oh, he has the Leg Ring already. Uh, what else do you want to give him besides Paragon? Uh, I don't know, the Power Ring maybe? Solis really enjoys that extra strength. I could also give him the Night Ring. I mean, uh, Solis... Yeah, I think he needs this, yeah, I think he might need the Power Ring to, to it KO enemies in Chapter 6, actually. Yeah, and you don't have a Crypt weapon, so that might be good. Or you can give him the Hero Sword, and then he doesn't need the Power Ring. I could do that, actually. Yeah, that's not a bad idea Aces at all. Hero Sword is really good on Solis. Yeah, it's also just, like, you want to give the best weapon the most kills. Um, yeah. So that is an option. Uh, I was thinking uh, we could uh, give the Javelin away to someone, though, because he can't pass that away to so pass the town down to Solis. Oh, but you can hold off on these kind of inheritance things until, like, later. Because it's going to be, like, near at least one castle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Over the course of the chapter. So I wouldn't bother selling stuff just yet. But Okay. Well, uh... Um, you could... How about we keep in mind that we could give Sigurd the, pa the Paragon Ring last. That's that's an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You could hold off on arena and just have him get the Paragon Ring last. Yeah, could do the that. whole chapter. Could do that. Could do that. Uh, yeah, you just buy the Fenora. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Noish uh, has enough, so he'll get the Paragon Ring. Yeah. Uh, Alec uh, needs a little bit of extra money to do that. I think we can either yeah. give him some villagers or Duke can maybe help him out. Yeah, if Noish caps, by the way, with the Paragon Ring and Irida alone, then we know that everyone else who's at that level will also cap. So yeah. that's also nice to know. Uh, Arden also has enough, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, his 40,000. Yeah, with the 500 gold. <laughs> <laughs> Just enough. Just enough. And then we have Medir. Uh, he also has enough, so that's uh, covered. Eleven doesn't, nice. Eleven doesn't need it. He can just physics spam to 30. Yeah. Uh, Holen has barely enough. Uh, I do think he'll need the Hero Sword to get through some of the later opponents, though. So we just need well, to... Well, you can Luna spam or give him the Hero Sword. Yeah, that's what I said. He, need, that we, yeah. he needs a little bit of extra yeah. money to buy the Hero Sword. <laughs> Uh, Asel is uh, also has enough, so that's good. He's covered. Uh, Jamka has enough. Claude doesn't need to, but he can get some money. And he's in love with Sylvia now, so we can dump some money on Sylvia oh. and give her the oh, Night Ring. I didn't if realize want, if that. Want to. Okay, cool. Yeah, it must have happened on the last turn. Okay, we should repair to fortify before the end of the chapter. Oh, and definitely. Else is really mad. Definitely. Uh, Beowulf definitely has enough. Uh, <laughs> I think he has like enough. Yeah. Lex can just get to 30 with Paragon, and then he'll, he's covered. He'll probably hit 30, I think. Yeah, this might be a chapter to be. This might be a good opportunity to sell the bargain ring on to someone else if you want to. But yeah. I don't know if you want to. Uh, Do uh, def has enough? Actually, has enough for both a paragon ring and a, and a ring. So that's good. Uh, yeah. Although he might he, he might need to give some money away, but you know, he, his rings are free anyway. So. Uh, Ruckus yeah. doesn't need to, she's capped. Uh, yeah, with, with you, we want to like use the Paragon Ring to spend that 20,000 gold, and then he can give someone else money. Yeah. With the money he's left. Definitely. Ira has enough. Uh, Eren doesn't need to, she could just spam staves. And Tiltu will be starting off in the arena because she already has the Paragon Ring. So I think, yeah, yeah everyone actually gets the Paragon Ring. The only. Uh, Sylvia doesn't need it. Uh, Ideen doesn't need it. Uh, Bridget gets it. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? Oh, never mind, never mind. I thought for a moment Bridget fell in love with Medea. I was like, what the hell? But never mind. I was, oh, yeah. Look at the wrong blonde. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, Mecca. Uh, uh, so... Did you check how close um, Bridget and her boyfriend are? Uh, with, like the lover guy? When, when we, yeah, when we talk to him, I think he says, it's not looking good, actually. Uh, he says, uh, oh, what? <laughs> what? Wait, what? No, that doesn't make any sense. What? Huh? Huh? Uh, she has a higher base with Jamka than she does with Dew. Oh. So that makes sense. Well, Dew probably has Bridget on his, on his mind. Yeah. Is taken. I think yeah. Bridget, that, that's like the halfway point, I think. Taking your fancy. The problem is, I can't really check these against Strange Force very easily because Strange Force still assumes the old patch. Yeah. Well, we just got to keep them next to each other at all costs. But Yeah, I mean, it was going to be the plan anyway, right? Yeah. So, yeah, let's start off with the arena. Tilt you in the arena. Let's get her, get her promoted. Yeah. Uh, so, so Ernest didn't fall in love with Noish yet, right? No, very... not not yet. But they're pretty close. We can check the we can check we can ask the old man. I'm, I think they are like borderline falling in love right now. So I think we could argue romance. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you're well and truly in love with Noish. That's like borderline there. Yeah, that's four hundred to four ninety nine. Mm -hmm. And then I think taking a fancy is the same as either feelings for or likes. Yeah. Not sure which. Either way, it's between two hundred and four hundred. What they've got. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so okay. let's uh, go through the final gauntlet! Mm -mm -mm -mm. So our first opponent in this gauntlet, and this will be the melee uh, melee gauntlet, is Jackal, the sword uh, sword fighter. He's just a regular uh, sword fighter. There's nothing special about him. He's level 17, comes with a steel sword. Uh, if you don't fight Jackal, you go on to have some delicious Lipton tea, because that archer is named Lipton, funnily enough. He's also level 17 with the same stats and a steel bow. Yeah, so he's slower. <laughs> uh, he is, yes, he's slower, actually, because the bow is way more. Yeah. But aside from that, they are complete um, clones of each other. All right, uh, let's hope you get Wrath. Man, she has a lot of HP. So if she gets hit twice, she has Wrath. I think oh, I've been. I think I've been relatively. I mean, she's a holy blood user, so her hit points growth is high. Um, it's fairly high, but her base is crap, so like, it ends up being about the same as your average character. Yeah, and she got that five HP from talking to a cell, which is nice. Yeah. But she will promote. And Lacus has done staff abusing, so we can. I was thinking about so yeah, the warp staff is actually conveniently broken, so we can buy yeah. that with uh, Tilty. Uh, next up is a Glaith. No wait, uh, that's not that does not right. You yeah yes it is Glaith, the level twenty warrior. Again, nothing special about him whatsoever. He comes with a steel axe and a hand axe. He's uh, moderately tanky at sixty HP, but he shouldn't be a hard uh, guy to get down. I mean, it's pretty much standard HP for FE four at this point. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like axe users don't even have more HP than average in this game. They don't. So, the, 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 everyone just has a lot of HP. You have the impression that axe users are like beefier and bulkier, but they're not really. They look that way, but that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe have more. You're about strength. to break your Thoron, I think. I think she might break her Thoron. Yeah. That's gonna cost me twelve thousand to repair, which sucks a little bit. It really doesn't matter, <laughs> thankfully. Uh, I don't think Tinny needs to inherit anything from Tiltu anyway. You sure she shouldn't get the Pursuit Band? Well, who else are you going to give it to? Um, for the Pursuit Band? There could be other candidates. You could give it to Do and then pass it on to Patty. Yeah, you did. Oh, that nice. What's that? No, What's that? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I like how he says. Uh, are you calm? Who else are we considering for Pursuit Band? Because we didn't give it to Leaf. So, so no, I, Leaf was the candidate, but then I realized we should have. That, 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 that train has sailed, yeah. as I like to say. Pretty uh, much. But I think all your other pairings have Pursuit. No, I don't think so. No, there's who doesn't have pursuit then? No, there's no one. I said there's all all, oh. all of them have pursuit. I think. Well, actually, Arthur doesn't have it, but he doesn't really need it. Either. He doesn't need pursuit. I mean, now. it's good on him, but I think it'd be better on uh, Patty. Probably. Uh, so next up is Geese. He is a level twenty-three uh, general with a steel blade and a steel bow. And again, there's nothing special about him whatsoever. Just a good old regular general. But after this, things gets really dicey. Good old Pavice. Good old Pavice. I think in the old patch he was actually named Geese, like the FE6 pirate. Yes, he was actually. I have to go and, uh, in order to set these up, or to get their proper names, I actually have to go through the Arena Gauntlet beforehand and write down their names, because Seren is forced to use the old translation patch. There mm. we go. Even this guy doesn't activate your Wrath, even if he hits you once. No! Tilty is beefy. Oh, never yeah. mind. Oh, wait. You huh? should. That's oh, a, I messed that's it up. A again. I thought she, for some reason, I thought she had 64 HP. Oh, she can actually die now. Wow. That's gonna be some Wrath fun. Yeah, I like how yeah. she spoils whether or not Pavice is being... Because I don't think she yeah. does the crit animation if he Pavices. No, definitely not. So that means she either misses if she doesn't get it or uh, Pavice happens. I don't yeah. think Pavice shows. Alright. Wow. wow. Hit points, Excellent. hit points, hit points, hit points. Alright, let's go promote before she goes further. That wow. is the final, break. final promotion of Gen 1 right here. War... Really? Yeah, it yeah, War Mage. Yeah, Sylvia can't promote. <laughs> Sylvia can't promote. Yeah. Nor will she. I think I like the name Mage Fighter more than uh, War Mage, to be honest. <sighs> yeah, Mage Fighter sounds more badass. War Mage is like, it's a mage, but they're at war. Ooh. War Mage is like budget sage. You get you get swords instead of good stats. Yeah. <laughs> Although this this is not Six bad. Six speed I guess. is really good though. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she becomes a War Mage. Uh, she gets adept, which is nice. And uh, yeah. she can use, I think, swords and staves? C rank and swords, though, so that's not very useful. But the B rank and staves is nice, also to warp spam, which is exactly what mm. we'll do. She also gets B rank in uh, uh, fire and uh, wind. So that, that can be somewhat useful, but I think I still think we'll stick with Thoron for the rest of the arena, because she's just a, such a good tome. Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe wind is more hit or something. But wind could it. be useful, but there's no uh, enemies she gets weapon triangle against, I think. I think you can also spam really easily now, even with Wrath, because now oh, you can like yeah. hope for Adapt Wrath or yeah, something. Yeah, she can adapt, so Wrath Adapt 
like if you, if you don't kill an enemy with two crits, then there, yeah, you're not gonna kill him, yeah. I think. So next up is Lee. He is a level 26 hero. He comes with a bolt sword and a speed ring, so he's really fast. But the bolt sword kind of sucks, and he only has five magic, so he's not a particularly threatening foe. Of course, against what uh, does magic matter? I guess against jam cap matters. But... Against the ranged enemy, he has five magic, but against uh, against tilt you, he'll use his strength, so he'll hit pretty hard with it, but not not as hard as like. Like, a Brave Sword would have been scarier, for example. For sure. I think the Bolt so Sword has the stats of a Steel Sword or something? Wow, she's actually faster than the Speed Ring Hero. Interesting. She has 26 speed. She too kills him. It's pretty impressive how good she is now. It's too fun. Okay, please stop sucking. Thank you. Oh, she's gonna miss. Yep. Nice one. You're actually dying now. Nope. Never mind. Adapt. Adapt. Well, I think she, yeah, she missed again. Yep, she missed anyway. Okay, oh, wow. Another. Nope. All right. Well, now she just one hits KOs, doesn't she? Now she just one hits KOs, so... <laughs> I don't think she can... I don't think she can lose this arena. I don't, I don't think it's... Well, she, I don't, I don't, she misses until her Thoron breaks, and then she misses again until her, run, her money runs come out. Come on! She's missing again. <laughs> Tilt you! <laughs> Lee is like, I heard you say I suck. Oh, there you go, he's dead. There we go. That only took pew, forever. Pew, 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 pew. Can't pass down a thorn anyway, so you shouldn't even bother repairing it. Uh oh, you're it right. Comes, it comes back fully repaired, and she can't pass it on because her daughter doesn't have the the rank to use it. That's so dumb. She, yeah, it's very dumb. Can she pass down like an dumb, Can she pass crazy. down an elf thunder though? And she can pass down an elf thunder, yeah, but mm. you don't get an elf thunder in Gen One actually. Oh, you don't. No, so you have to pass down like Elvin or. Oh wow. So, no, actually, uh, I think no, you do. She, yeah, her daughter can use Elvin once she married Eleven. Right. Uh, next up is the Draco uh, Knight Sithiel, and he's a level 29 Draco Knight. He has 69 HP, nice. And he comes with a Horse Slayer, so... Uh, wow, but what a great idea in the arena. Luckily, the Horse Slayer is kind of shit, so it's not really yeah. a big threat. Um, if you go into the ranged gauntlet, though, you'll meet a very terrifying foe. His name is Hawker, and he comes with a killer bow and a shield ring. This guy is fucking insane. Uh, he, he has, he's very fast, he also has 69 HP, by the way. And he's very tanky, because he has 20 defense thanks to Shield Ring, and I don't know about you, like, I, he crits me all the time, it's so annoying. He only has 20 skill, so he shouldn't be critting you that much, but I feel like he always crits me for some reason. It's really he's annoying. He's Alec. Oh wait, Alec can't find a range. Oh, yeah, exactly. Just... He's Bridget, she has a lot of luck, Kappa Kappa. He actually crit her when I tried, it was really annoying, <laughs> but, she, but she actually takes the crit, so. Alright, but Horse Slayer is like a super joke weapon in here. <laughs> 16 hit, let's go. Do it, come on. I love it when a uh, Draco Knight crits and he's like flying off all the in the way the other way in the air for yeah, like five minutes. Beyond the ceiling in this arena. Unless this arena has a very high ceiling, it might. I was playing Warriors earlier and I flew through the ceiling with like Hinoka and she was like clipped <laughs> into the into the freaking fort uh her, her, ceiling. Her voice makes me laugh so hard. <laughs> Inoka's one of my best units, so I have to hear it a lot. <laughs> Uh, next up is the Swordmaster Nazar. Ooh, what a reference. I think it was Nate Nabarro in the old one. He like, was, uh, he like, was, and then, then the Project, Project uh, Nah got changed into Nazar for some reason. I don't know. They Fuck those references, we don't want those. Yeah, it's okay to have Mario and Luigi, but not Nabarro. Uh, <laughs> he's a level 30 Swordmaster with 70 HP, and he also comes with a shield ring. So he's 21 defense. Not that that's gonna matter against Tilt you, but still. He's Pursuit and Adept, and uh, he uh, also has a Wind Sword, which again, Against the ranged opponent, he's a complete joke because he has three magic, but against anyone else, this guy's really nasty. He's super, like, the, the wind sword is very light, uh, so he'll he'll proc pursuit and adapt against most of your guys. So, like, even Arden will struggle against this guy, funnily enough. But Tilt you should kill him pretty easily. Just give Arden an iron bow so he has to find a range. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even think about that, that's genius. I like how she's faster than this guy too. I expected her to be because she was faster than the speed ring hero, but it's still pretty funny to see. She's super fast. Is Thorin just not that heavy? Uh, I mean, it's seven, just like every other wind tome. Oh, uh, you mean thunder tome? Oh yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, it's, it should be seven, just like everything else. She is yeah. missing a lot though. <laughs> she is. Okay, oh. so she needs oh. wrath now. There you go. He's yeah, dead. Adam is so annoying on this guy. Yeah, I hate this guy, but he's dead. Well, that's one is rah, 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 rah. funny joke sometimes. Other times he's pretty annoying. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So next up, the final boss of the arena in Gen One is Clepper. <laughs> Clepper the Rogue. He's a level thirty Rogue, and uh, you might like his stats are actually way worse than the Sar, so you might go like, huh? Why, why is this guy in the arena now? He's he has a rogue with an earth sword. Yeah, it's just as annoying as it sounds. So he can heal himself. He also has a speed ring. So it's twenty six speed. 
So he's faster than a lot of your dudes. He'll double them. I think he'll be faster than Tiltu then, won't he? Maybe, maybe. Because he has uh, 26 mine. I don't know. The Earth Sword weighs 5, I think, so he, he should have like 21 speed. Um, yeah. It's as it's heavy as the speed ring. It gives him speed, which is kind of funny. Uh, he has Pursuit because he's rogue, and he also I checked in the game's code, he actually does have the steel skill, which is funny, but okay. I, but I think we can just affirm that the steel skill just doesn't work in the arena. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm glad I turned it off. If he, if he attacked you outside the arena, he actually would steal your money, because he has the steel yeah. skill, he just doesn't use it for some reason. Yeah, I think even if it works, like, imagine using Dew would be the best arena unit because he can steal the money back during the fight. <laughs> there's, a, there's an enemy in Gen 2 that can steal your gold. Oh, yeah. I think when you have two units that have both have steel go up against each other, I think whoever attacks first gets priority or something. Something like that, they steal yeah. steal first and then yeah. nothing else happens. Yeah, it's really annoying. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Right. So, seven levels from Staff Spam. Hope you can do it. Shouldn't be that hard. You got Beast Staff, so she can use Physic or Warp. I think Warp would be nice on her. Yeah, I'm gonna... Stupidly Warp Leaven Home or something, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to uh, get her the Warp Staff. Are you just gonna prep people as, as they're done with the arena? That makes sense, actually. It makes it harder to forget people. I was thinking about that, yeah. Uh, okay. So we'll go get the broken staff. It, it also because I want to repair this before I sell the Paragon Ring. Uh, oh yeah, because you don't want to overflow. That yeah. makes sense. So there we go. Ten warp uses. Yeah. That should be the last level she needs, right? Yeah, don't repair that. No, 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 I won't. So there we go. I'm, I'm surprised we get to repair it even once, to be honest. <laughs>